Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from DSLR Pros. Today I'm happy to have with us Grant Hastica from DJI. We have with us an M300 sporting the brand new Zenmuse H20N. Stick around, you're gonna to wanna to see this. All right, Grant, thanks so much for coming to be with us today. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely, excited. Well, we are certainly excited about the H20N. Uh, tell me a little bit about what this new payload is all about. I think really sum it up in two words, nighttime operations. So we know people are responding at all hours of the day and this payload is really optimized for those low light situations. Who is this payload really designed for? I think public safety certainly comes to mind. You think about a search and rescue operation and having a camera like this is really optimized to help save time and come up with a better result. Looks pretty complex. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Can you walk me through all the different sensors that it's got on it? So you have two thermal sensors. You have your wider view and then you have the telethermal. So it's a little more zoomed in, longer focal length there. So when you're on the controller, two times you're starting with kind of the wider thermal camera. Four times you go to digital zoom, and then when you get to eight times, it'll actually switch over to the second thermal camera. So you still have that 640 by 512 resolution, even when zooming in. And then you have the same for the visual starlight sensors. You have both the wide and the zoom going up to 128 times. <laughs> uh, can you tell me a little bit about the laser rangefinder and what that is useful for? So one of the big things is being able to mark pinpoints. So you can mark a location that you've looked at and continue with the drone and then come back to that location that you'd marked before. Also during a live operation, you can mark a spot and then with a tap of the button, bring the camera back to the pin that it was looking at. Another benefit of this H20N that we've added is simultaneous zoom. So as you're zooming in with the visual camera, you'll zoom with the thermal side as well. I think this is gonna be a game changer for a lot of people in inspection and public safety in particular. When would someone wanna upgrade from the H20T to the H20N or if someone's looking to get into an M300 with one of those payloads, which one should they consider? If we're looking at more precise thermal measurement or we're looking for high resolution zoomed in photos, the H20T is still where I'd steer, but for nighttime operations, general thermal information, the H20N is a great option. Well, Grant, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. We're looking forward to getting the H20N into our customers' hands. If you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to us via email at sales at dslrpros.com. Give us a call or visit us on the website at dslrpros.com. Let us know what you think about the H20N in the comments below. I'm Jeremy. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.